everyone welcome back to cyber secret tv uh, this week we're going to talk about the uh, file upload vulnerability and we're going to see how do we exploit this vulnerability of course in this session we're going to keep it as a, a very simple and very basic uh, probably in the next video i'm going to teach you on some advanced techniques uh, so file upload functionality is very com common across the application that's why it is very essential to learn how do we bypass some of the security controls implemented by this applications so sometimes you are allowed to upload some documents like uh, like you know word document excel file csv or sometimes it allows you to upload the profile pictures such as images jpeg or png uh, we're going to use the tool called Vivli uh, to generate and execute the web shells. Uh, so, and then we're going to also see, like, you know, how do we upload these web shells and, and then get the backdoor or, or root access or shell access to the remote server. Uh, so let's jump on to our demo. You can see here, uh, Vivli com comes, like, you know, by default with the Kali uh, Linux. And Vivli is a spilled PHP web shell that stimulates the talent-like connection. It is an essential tool for web application post exploitation and can be used as tilt backdoor. That is what we're going to use today, or as a web shell to manage legit web accounts, even free hosted ones. And here are a bunch of uh, commands that you can use uh, with the uh, tool. Uh, we're going to use the uh, PHP backdoor today. I, of course, you can try, and, and as per your need, you can uh, generate different uh, shell. Uh, also, uh, Kali Linux, like uh, with the Metaspart, I think it also comes with some of the PHP web shells. So if you don't want to generate your own and use the, uh, which is already there, uh, yeah, probably you can do that as well. So first off, uh, what I'm going to do is I have set the security of this application as low so we can easily see and bypass uh, uh, the vulnerability. Uh, first off, so let's see uh, by uploading uh, like you know um, some image to make sure it is working fine. So when we upload, okay, so it says uh, image is successfully uploaded and we can go to this directory where we can see um, where is the uploaded images? So probably type this and then copy and paste this. And here you can see the image we have uploaded. Okay, great. Now let's generate a web shell using the tool uh, that we just saw vividly, right? So first off, let's go here and let's type vividly and then we have to use the command called generate. Uh, one thing uh, here, you need to provide the password for your backdoor. So when you try to get the backdoor, uh, of course, like you know, there's a security, uh, so no one else can access your backdoor. Uh, that's the reason it allows you to do that. So let's uh, give the password as Cyber Security TV. Okay, and then we're gonna specify the path where we want to generate. By default, it's gonna generate the uh, PHP shell. So I'm gonna say shell1.php and looks correct. Okay, enter. All right, so we have the shell ready in the root file. So now let's go here and browse to our root directory and find the shell. Uh, okay, there you go. So let's upload this one. Okay, now let's quickly verify whether this upload was, uh, we can see this shell or not. So simply gonna do this, remove extra slash here. Okay, so we got the blank page. Uh, usually if the file does not, it's not found something like, you know, you'll get 404, but here we got 200 okay. By blank page, that means our shell was uploaded successfully. Now, how do we access this, right? So, for that, you just copy. You need to know where the, like, you know, the path of your upload is. Uh, and then let's go back to the terminal. And let's type vividly uh, the URL and then the password that we had. It was Cybersec TV. Okay, now we are connected. So let's try ls, right? So we have seen, uh, we see a bunch of, uh, then let's go here. Let's go to the uh, home directory. And then ls, so here we can see user. 
uh, pretty much like you know uh, now we have got the uh, access to the root access so you can pretty much play around use any normal linux commands um, uh, to exploit the system uh, the remote server so steps are uh, pretty straightforward uh, as we have as as we have seen before um, uh, first off you generate the shell and then once you are uh, once you are done generating the shell uh, make sure you are, you are able to upload that so for that you need to uh, figure out like you know what are the uh, possible um, uh, controls that the application has and then how do we bypass those controls and once you're able to upload the shell uh, you also need to make sure how do we access and then exploit our uh, access to the back door so this was a very simple example right application allowed us straightforward to upload the shell in the next uh, episode we're going to see how do we bypass some of the validation uh, has been put in and we'll also see what are the list of checks that you uh, need to implement as a, as a security or, or when you are doing the code review uh, checks you need to ensure that the application is taking to avoid such exploit or vulnerability uh, so that's it uh, from this video uh, thank you uh, for uh, watching and, and please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe for uh, weekly episodes and uh, be sure to follow me on facebook all right bye for now